Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're having a look at the slide tool that's available in the add-on Nsolve. So continue on this series of Nsolve, we've got this shape here which we were looking at when using the merge function. That was on the last video and there's a link in the description to the playlist on Nsolve so you can find all those videos. So let's bring up Nsolve here and then we've got our slide function. Now this works in many ways in a similar way to merge, except if you click on any vertex, you can then slide it along any edge that it's connected to. So it depends what edges you've got, which way you're going to slide it. You can also do this in edge mode. So let's come into edge mode here and drag that along and it will slide with it. So basically just the standard tool in Blender, which you'd get by hitting G twice. But again, G is quite a way across the keyboard. It's not where I have my fingers as standard. Now, if we come back into vertex mode, we can do all of the other standard things that we would expect by using the slide function. I could press C to clamp it, which is gonna allow me to go further than that original edge was, which is often very useful. But importantly, just like the normal slide function, if I click this vertex here and drag it to this one and release, this has not merged them together. If I press G again, you can see that they're not actually connected. So what I want to do is come up here to turn on my auto merge vertices and just drag that along. So in many ways you can use this in place of the merge function, it just doesn't have a multi-merge functionality as opposed to the merge tool that comes with Nsolve. So a nice tool there that's gonna allow you to merge things quickly because you don't have to keep coming, clicking GG and then move, you just click and drag and you've got that and then merge together at this point because we've got auto merge vertices on. So a nice helpful tool there. So in all regards, this is just a quicker access to that slide function, which I think is really nice to be able to go through if I'm gonna be using those a lot. For example, if we're coming down here and we're starting dragging things together. Though in reality, this would actually be better served by using the collapse function, which we're gonna talk about in a later video. So if you aren't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And we're gonna carry on going through all these Nsolve tools throughout the course of the week or if you're really impatient and want to get those ahead of time, they're all already up on the Patreon, and there's a link in that in the description where you can join for a few dollars a month, and for that you get these videos a week ahead of time, ad-free, and access to the channel Discord. Have a great day, guys.